What's up my stat stars? I hope you are ready for the ultimate probability question. Now, this type of question comes up on the AP stats exam almost every single year, and it's one that a huge proportion of kids get wrong because it's, well, the ultimate probability question. Now, it's called the ultimate probability question because it involves both conditional probabilities with continuous random variables along with the normal distribution. It's a pretty cool problem that by the end of it, I hope is really easy to understand. But I'm going to be honest, it does involve a little bit of work, but doesn't that make a good question a good question because you're going to have to do some work? All right, let's dive right into it. Here's the question. When it is not raining, the amount of time it takes Jessica to get to school follows a normal distribution with a mean of 10.2 minutes and a standard deviation of 0.85 minutes. So that means when it's not raining, it should take her 10.2 minutes to get to work, or excuse me, get to school, but sometimes it takes a little bit more and sometimes it takes a little bit less. Now, we're also told when it is raining, the amount of time it takes Jessica to get to school also follows a normal distribution. But because it's raining, traffic's a little bit slower, so when it's raining, the mean is 14.6 minutes with a standard deviation of 1.8 minutes. Now, it's also told to us that the probability that on any given day when Jessica is driving to school that there is rain is 15%. Now, here comes the question, the ultimate question. On any given day, what is the probability that it takes Jessica more than 12 minutes to get to school? All right, so the first thing we have to be able to do is notate exactly what it's asking us. It's asking us to find the probability, that's P, that the, in parentheses, I'll use T for time, the amount of time it takes her to get to school is greater than 12 minutes. All right, let's process everything we were told because there's a lot of information in this problem, again, which makes it pretty difficult. So let's organize ourselves. We were told that when it is not raining, the mean is 10.2 with a standard deviation of 0.85 minutes. And again, we were told that it follows a normal distribution. That's awesome. Now, the other information we were told that when it is, is raining, the mean is 14.6 minutes and the standard deviation is 1.8 minutes. But that last piece of information they told us is that the not raining only happens 85% of the time. So we are only going to have that mean of 10.2 and that standard deviation of 0.85 on the 85% likelihood that it's not raining. And then when it is raining is 15%, so the only time we're going to have that 14.6 mean and that standard deviation of 1.8 is on the 15% likeliness that it is raining. So that's how everything is tied together here. So we have conditional probabilities. If it's raining, here's what the mean and standard deviation are. If it's not raining, here's what the mean and standard deviation are. All right, so how the heck are we going to solve this problem? Well, the first thing we have to do is we have to walk through each scenario. So the first scenario is when it is not raining. We know the mean is 10.2, the standard deviation is 0.85. So what's the probability, that's what was asked of us, that it takes longer than 12 minutes, but right now we're looking only at the condition that there's no rain. Okay, because the 10.2 and the 0.85, that only happens if there's no rain. All right, so now I'm going to have to use the normal distribution. The first thing I'm going to do is calculate the z-score for 12 minutes in this scenario when it's not raining. So subtract the 10.2, divide by the standard deviation of 0.85, and I get a z-score of 2.118. Pretty high z-score. Then I'm going to go to normal CDF, because normal CDF is how I'm going to calculate probabilities if I'm following a normal distribution. I want to look more than this 12 minutes, which is more than a z-score of 2.118. So my lower value is going to be 2.118. My upper value is going to be 99, acting like my infinity. And I get a probability of 0.0171. That means there's a 1.71% chance that it takes Jessica more than 12 minutes to get to work when there is no rain, which only happens, remember, 85% of the time. All right, now I have to turn my attention to the other scenario when it is raining. When it is raining, we know that the mean is 14.6 minutes and the standard deviation is 1.8. And once again, we have to find the probability that it takes Jessica longer than 12 minutes to get to work on the condition that there's rain because these numbers are based on it raining. All right, so the first thing we have to do is get the z-score for 12 minutes in this situation, and the z-score is negative 1.444. Then we're going to go to normal CDF, and again, we want to find greater than 12 minutes, greater than a z-score of negative 1.44. So our lower value in normal CDF is going to be negative 1.444. Our upper value is going to be 99. Hit enter, and we get 92.6%, 0.926. So when it is raining, there's a 92% 92.6% chance that it's going to take her greater than 12 minutes to get to work. Now make sure you process those last two numbers. 
because when it's raining, the mean is 14.6, 12 minutes is below that, so it should take her over 12 minutes. That's why it's so likely 92.6%. When it's not raining, there's only a 10.8 as the mean, so 12 is above that, so it actually shouldn't take her over 12 minutes, which is why the probability is so low in that situation. But back to when it is raining. The idea though is that this scenario, taking it longer than 12 minutes, this again only happens when it's raining, which only happens 15% of the time. All right, so we have two probabilities. We got the probability that it takes longer than 12 minutes when it is raining. We got the probability that it takes longer than 12 minutes when it's not raining. But the question just said, what's the probability it takes longer than 12 minutes? So what do we do with these two numbers? Well, most students are gonna add them together. That's wrong. That's not gonna get you the answer. Making a tree diagram is how to understand it best. So first we have any day. And on any day, it's either gonna not rain, 0.85, or it's going to rain, 0.15. So if we go on the branch that it's not raining, 0.85, it could take Jessica more than 12 minutes or it could take Jessica less than 12 minutes. Well, we just got done finding the probability when it's not raining that it does take her more than 12 minutes. That's the 0.0171. But that 0.0171 can only happen if it's first an 85% chance of no rain. Then we can follow the branch of rain, 0.15. And if it's raining, it could take Jessica longer than 12 minutes to get to school, or it could take her less than 12 minutes to get to school. But we just got done spending time figuring out what's the probability it takes her longer than 12 minutes to get to school when it is raining, 0.926. But that 0.926 can only happen if it's first raining. So here we go. To finally answer the question, what is the probability that it takes Jessica longer than 12 minutes to get to school? We have to first find the probability that there's no rain, multiply that by the probability it takes her longer than 12 minutes to get to work when there's no rain. We're gonna follow that first branch, that top branch. No rain, greater than 12 minutes. Or the other way that it could take her longer than 12 minutes to get to school is that there is rain, and then it takes her longer than 12 minutes. We're gonna take the probability of rain times the probability of taking her larger than 12 minutes to get to school when there is rain. All right, that's it. Those are the two branches that are going to answer the total question, what's the probability it takes her longer than 12 minutes to get to school? So we have the 0.85, no rain, and then it takes her longer, 0 0.0171, or plus, there is rain, 0.15, and then it takes her longer than 12 minutes, 0.926. So do all that math, do the multiplication, add together, we get a final answer of 0.153435. So roughly a 15.3% chance that it's going to take Jessica longer than 12 minutes to get to work. All right, and that's it. Well, okay, hopefully you're not too intimidated because there was a lot of really good math work in that problem, but that's exactly why I'm making a video. I'm not gonna make a video over the easy problems. I'm gonna make a video over the hard problem so you understand how to do it. Again, process what's being told to you. There's two scenarios. One scenario has a 15% chance of happening. One has an 85% chance for happening. Go into each of those scenarios and say, all right, I'm looking for it to take longer than 12 minutes to get to school. Figure out the probabilities. They both follow a normal distribution when it's raining or not raining. So that made the math pretty easy. Calculated did the heavy work there. But then I understand the branches. With conditional probability, a tree diagram really helps. There are two ways that she could go longer than 12 minutes to get to work. Or I keep saying work. School. Well, I guess you could look at school's work. But again, just follow those two branches. It's not raining and it takes her longer. It is raining, it takes her longer. And with conditional probabilities, you have to multiply to get to the end of the branch. But there's two different scenarios, so we add those two different scenarios together to get our final answer. Whew, a really good problem. Hopefully you understood it. If you did it, maybe go back and watch again. It's a pretty straightforward problem. And there's just a lot of information you have to process. But I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you loved it. I hope you keep watching my videos. And if you didn't sign up for the Ultimate Review Packet yet, please do so at the link in the description. I know it's going to help you get more practice on problems just like this.